This is examples part four of section 2.3. So example nine says find the derivative, derivative of h of x equal to this. Now what we need to do first is rewrite h of x by expanding that. So we end up getting x to the sixth power minus 8x to the third power plus 16. And then now I can take the derivative of each term. So I get 6x to the fifth minus 8 times 3x to the squared plus 0. Because the derivative of a constant is just 0. Well, I get 6x to the fifth minus 24x squared all together. Example 10 says find the given higher order derivative. So they want me to find the third derivative, but they're giving me the second derivative, which means I only need to take the derivative of it in order to get the third derivative. But this is a fraction, so I will have to use the quotient rule. So low d high, the derivative of a constant is zero, minus high d low, the derivative of x is one, the derivative of five is zero, over low squared. So anything times zero is just gonna be a big zero. So I'm gonna get negative three over x minus five squared. Now in example 11, it says use the given information to find f prime of two. So they give me all these little bits of information and then they want me to find this. Well, in order for me to find f prime of two, I first have to figure out what f prime is. And since it consists of a product, I have to apply the product rule. So the first function times the derivative of the second function plus the second function times the derivative of the first function. And if I want to know what f prime of two is, then that means I need to plug in two for all the x's. And I do know these values. g of two is three. h prime of two is five. h of two is negative one, and g prime of two is negative three. So we end up with 15 plus three, which equals 18.